Hello, I'm ABX Toycat and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you some tips for starting a new world in Minecraft. This is because usually on my channel I cover super endgame stuff in Minecraft, like what to do with your beacons, but the reality is a lot of people aren't at that phase in Minecraft yet. A lot of people are just starting new worlds every single day, either because they aren't used to the game or because more likely you're like, I want to check out this new seed or I want to get new biomes after the next update, so I'm going to start a new world. And if you are starting a new world, here are some tips that can make your first night a lot easier, both for beginners and for people who have played Minecraft a lot that just might not think about this sort of stuff so please do like it if you do like it because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me know you do like it i want to see more stuff like this on the channel but let's get straight into it already shall we so there are a few tips you want to bear in mind before you even press the create new world button and these are first of all turn on the bonus chest if you're not familiar with the bonus chest it usually just gives you stuff that can save you some time if you really don't like handouts i guess turn this off but in general it's just like oh a bunch of free wood to uh, save you some time chopping down trees it's very very useful it'll save you a few minutes and a few a little bit of your time or two, two good things to save so yeah you want to also turn down your world size to classic this is only available on xbox one and ps4 on the other consoles it's turned on by default because basically the classic world is more condensed you'll find more villages and stuff like that you can always expand it to large later but always leave on classic at first uh, because you know you'll get better you know a better spawn area and it's just better to do that way so then also if you have a seed to type in make sure you type it in of course but if you don't have a seed don't just type in something random like oh i like um rainbow cats so i'm going to type in rainbow cat free uh, that, that, that's that's not a very good idea if you don't know the seed's going to be good or you you know you don't know what's going to be at all then make sure you leave it blank because a blank seed is a random seed but it's a random good seed a lot of bad seeds have been taken out of the pool of random seeds so by having a blank you know thing in the world generator it can save you a lot of hassle and in general if you don't know what seed you're doing a blank seed's pretty good so we don't know what this world's gonna look like but let's go in and let's uh, work with what we've given and uh, give you some tips for that shall we so yeah the first thing you want to do obviously if you've turned on the bonus chest is look for the bonus chest so the moment we are uh, you know getting the spawn we're gonna give ourselves a, a look around and then find the bonus chest so uh, what are we gonna get today is it gonna be Oh, okay. Oh, it's going to be snow biome with, um, it looks pretty dark, I guess that's because uh, it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, we, we've got a snow biome right on the edge of a mountain, right with an extreme hill biome over there. I think it's like half snow, half extreme hill. We'll work that out in a second. So, first thing you want to do is find your bonus chest, and, uh, you know, you, you might want to check inside, see what you've got. I got a stone pickaxe, which is pretty nice, as well as a wooden axe. Pretty good stuff. Um, but yeah, if you, rather than just going in and, you know, pressing Y and taking it all out there, uh, a, a good pro tip is just to break the chest and then get everything like this. This is because, you know, saves you time doing that anyway, and it also means you get the free chest, as well as all the stuff in it which means, uh, you know, we have a wooden pick, uh, we have wooden pickaxe, a stone pickaxe, a stone axe, and some wood just to save ourselves some time. I I think this is something worth doing, but again, if you want to just ignore it all and be like, no, I don't deserve it, all, then throw, throw your cacti away. That's something you can totally do. But yeah, now we've got our wood and we've got our spawn location. What's the first thing you should do after that? So uh, my favorite pro tip when it comes to, you know, like uh, actually starting a world is the first thing you want to do is make kind of like, a, not a beacon, but like, you know, a little pillar that kind of represents where your spawn is. So you can come back here later uh, in case friends join the world or whatever. So just something like this, just so you can see it from a distance because you know uh, you, you might think oh I'll just remember what my spawn location is then hours pass and you're like oh I think it was somewhere in the snow biome okay never mind <laughs> and uh, yeah basically you want to just have a little thing like this then what you want to do is on top of this because it will usually give you a pretty good view of some form you want to work out which direction you're headed if you're looking for a very specific biome if you're like I want to find a jungle and that's all I'm putting up with then go look for your jungle if you can't see one just head in the direction which looks like it has the most potential which your map is quite useful for by the way um, but if, if, if you can't uh, see your biome or you don't know what biome you're looking for make sure you try and find a plains biome first and i can see one do you see just in the distance over there like to, to my right above that hill that looks like a plains biome so we're gonna head there first this is because that has a lot of the stuff that makes surviving a lot easier so yeah we're gonna head in that direction but first of all we're gonna make a little uh, point here just so we know which direction we head back in. In case we die, we won't have our map and we won't know which direction we're heading. If we have this, we'll know one, where the spawn is, and two, which direction to head. So we're going to be running this way vaguely, and uh, this is going to lead us to a plains biome. At least it looks that way. So, um, yeah, just this this seems like it's unnecessary stuff to do when you're starting a world. You're like, Toy Cat, you spent a minute and you haven't even left your spawn yet. But now, you know, the, the inevitable first death, or not really inevitable, but the potential first death, where it's like, oh, I just got ganged up on by six spiders while I had no armor. I just didn't stand a chance. In Instead of just being like, oh, I guess we're going to restart the world because I have no idea where my stuff is, you can be like, oh, I'm going to follow that back to my place. And it also means when people join the world, they don't have to bug you and be like, hey, cat, come to the spawn, I'm lost. They can just instead be like, oh, I'm just going to follow that little thing there because you clearly mentioned what's going on there. So, um, yeah, while you're headed there, there are three things you want to look out for, which is food. 
um, sheep, and um, also coal. So uh, usually if you find an exposed cavern, you're going to find some coal somewhere sneakily hidden here. In our case, we find uh, we found iron first. But here we go, we found some coal. Uh, because coal is one of the most essential things for your first night, because it means you can find torches to actually explore caves and stuff. And uh, basically coal is just so very, very important. You, you might be like, yeah, I know coal's important. But if you find an exposed cavern, make sure you search it for coal. We got very lucky and found one on the way to where we're going. Yeah, you want to do that. Uh, also, while you're here, grab yourself some stone, make yourself a stone pickaxe, I've already got one, and get iron, because one of the things that I see a lot of people do on their first night that, you know, kind of uh, bothers me, is everyone always make a set of wooden tools, then just upgrade it to stone, then upgrade it to iron. If you can, I mean, the best thing to do is just to go straight to iron or go straight to stone, because the, the thing about, you know, wooden tools is they're only slightly better than using your fist. Uh, you know, a wooden sword is actually, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's better than using your fist by quite a bit, but not that much. Whereas if you look at, you know, a, a wooden axe, it's like slightly faster than punching tree the reality is you probably just want to wait until you can get iron or stone tools so yeah uh, by, by going early on and finding some iron that makes our life a bit easier when it comes to that so yeah we've got six iron we've got some food but now we need to get ourselves some sheep and this is why the plains biome is excellent not only is the plains biome great because you know compared to that snow biome uh, you know the, the tiger biome where everything was just kind of hidden now you can see oh it's just um you know in front of us we've got like animals we've got a village and we can actually see everything so yeah uh, basically like i said the, the things you're going to need next because we've got food we've got coal we're gonna need some wool so unfortunately we don't actually have any iron well, we have iron ore but we, don't, we can't cook it just yet so what we're gonna actually have to instead do is we're gonna kill the sheep you want to get one wool when you kill a sheep as opposed to three but yeah that's gonna be that so it doesn't matter what color the sheep are because a bed will be made from any of these colors but you want to make sure that you know no matter what you actually have you know what you, you actually have you know three types of wool because that allows you to make a bed also if we need more food because there is just a bunch of cows here anyway we can do this so yeah the reason i recommend a plains biome is because you just find all these animals in such an easy way and it's just it's just really really useful in my opinion being able to you know find a bunch of them they'll spawn in packs and that means if you need your free sheep you can usually find them together whereas in other biomes you'll find them like you know super sparsely populated and by the time you get your free wool for a bed it's nighttime already and you can't sleep in it it's just a whole mess so yeah we found our first village these places are great stop of points not only because of the fact you know that you, you know you, you got villagers to keep you safe but also because one they'll have a crafting table two they might have a furnace if there's a blacksmith around here which will also have free stuff and three they have free food at the very least even if they don't have anything useful for you to steal uh they will have free food that you can be like oh i'm actually uh, kind of hungry because i didn't get food then you can go ahead and be like, oh, I'm just going to take your carrots if that's okay. And then, boom, you've got yourself, uh, how many carrots do we have? 15 carrots. And now we just, uh, you know, food food isn't too much of an issue. We're not going to starve to death. And like that, we've uh, got done some really useful stuff. We've gone coal a lot easier by exploring caverns. We've gone food a lot easier by finding a plains biome and, uh, and also by finding a village. And then we've also got sheep by going in the Saints plain biome and just looking around. And now we're ready to start our first house just like this. Uh, the, the big mistakes, you might be like, Toy Cat, have you really done anything, uh, you know, too unique here? Uh, the, the big mistakes that I was kind of covering up with this is like a lot of people, instead of, uh, you know, looking for above exposed caverns, they'll just start digging down and, you know, it'll be really dark and it's like that. I've made that mistake before. It's kind of a mess and, um, Basically, by doing all of this stuff, uh, boom, we found another cavern, which looks like it's going down quite deep. Uh, by doing this stuff, first of all, it means that you can just save yourself some time on that first night. As soon as you have a bed, you don't have to worry about the night. And if you can do that on your first night at all, then you just have so many fewer issues to worry about. And boom, hopefully something in this video did resonate with you. I hope you did all like the video. If you did, please do like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel. And now I'm going to go start a house uh, in this little plains... <laughs> <laughs> uh, biome uh, because like I said this is my favorite type of biome and it's just a very good neutral biome uh, but if you if you want to go find a jungle biome from here go do that go do that whatever you need to do and yeah that's that so to kind of revise over the tips here first of all turn on your world as classic first you'll find more villages I probably wouldn't have found this village if it was a large world size second of all uh, go blank seed if you don't know what seed you're typing in obviously if you follow seed sunday you probably have a seed to type in third of all uh, turn on the bonus chest it just gives you free stuff because now we can start a tree farm where we want to uh, fourth of all you want to make a, a beacon at your spawn fifth make sure the beacon points to where you're going so if you die you don't just lose the world sixth of all find food seventh find uh, sheep eighth of all find coal which is easily found in exposed places and then finally don't make wooden tools just go straight to stone or go straight to iron and uh, you know even though we've been uh, you know just running around doing nothing we've still got plenty of time to do that before night falls and make a bed and that's what i like about uh, all the strategy stuff so yeah hopefully the video did help you out if you did like it please do like it and let me know i know this was slightly more aimed at newer players but hopefully even if you're uh, you know pretty good at minecraft you'll be like ah yeah that is a pretty good tip toy cat let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think of that anyway share that if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here i make videos like this every single day on my channel and if you subscribe you'll see them all daily on your homepage. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. Oh, the seed.
And in case you're wondering, here is the very specific seed, uh, which you can type in and get this exact same world I just used. Just in case you want that, it's it's very, 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 very long. That's I think that's as long as a seed can be. But if you want to you wanna explore this exact world, because you're like, I want a seed, but I don't want to check out Seed Sunday, there you go. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Goodbye.